Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to decode the affine cipher. So to decode um, the affine cipher, we will need the key, which is a comma b, a being the multiplicative coefficient of the plain text, and b being the one that you add on to whatever the product is to get you the um, ciphered number. So to decode, we kind of rearrange this formula um, into an equation about the plain text. So some simple math, blah, blah, blah. You need to subtract um, b from the cipher number, and then you multiply it by the inverse of a. Or, you know, another tense would be dividing by a, but in modular arithmetic, that would be the inverse, which we knew how to um, find if you watch my modular arithmetic inverse um, videos. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how that's done today. So here's an example. We're going to decode MNHE with 21, 7. So let's take care of the toughest part first, which will be finding the inverse of A. So we know that A is 21, uh, which means that A times the inverse of A is going to give us 1 in mod 26. So whatever 21 is multiplied by its remainder when divided by 26 is going to give us 1. Uh, so we can lift, uh, list out all the all those numbers first, not all of them, but uh, for the first couple, 79, 105. So when you see the number 105, that should be kind of a ringer, say, hey, uh, I know that 21 multiplied by 5 is going to give me 105, which is 1 in mod 26, which means that 5 and 21 are inverses. Um, so the inverse of A is going to be 5. So this is what we're going to multiply by after uh, we subtract the number uh, with 7, which is the B value. So I'm going to erase this to give myself more room. And I'm going to note down here that A inverse is 5. So the next step, we're going to put uh, these letters into numbers. So 12, 13, 7, so let's start with M. Remember our formula. Um, so we're going to do 12 minus 7, which is the B, multiplied by 5, which is the inverse of A. So that's going to give us 25, which points to Z. Uh, let's do N. So same thing, 13 minus 7, the B, multiplied by inverse of A. So that is 30, which is 4, and it gives us E. Then H is 7 minus 7 multiplied by 5. It's going to be 0 anyway, so that gives us A and E. Finally, 4 minus 7 is 25 uh, multiplied by 5. So in this case, you can see that 4 is smaller than 7, so there are two ways you can approach this, whichever one is fine. You can say that minus 7 is also um, basically adding 19, because those two numbers add up to 26. Or you can also say, uh, I will do this part first, say negative 3, which is, uh, if I add 26 to that value, will give me 23. Um, or you can do this whole thing first and say this is negative 15, negative 15, which, if I add 26 to it, will give me 11. Oh, I keep doing this. Sorry. This is 11, and that's going to give me L. Either way, you're going to get to the same answer. And let's put these letters together. Zeal, that makes sense. And this is how you decode with an affine cipher.